All right, so in this uh, video, we're doing phase one. We're gonna be using the tool spider foot. Let's go and get logged into our Kali machine. We can go to the command terminal and type spider foot. We can go up to our applications, information gathering. We can see spider foot is there. We can see underneath OSINT analysis, spider foot is there and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on spider foot it's going to try to execute it. It's not going to work. Again, Spiderfoot is a OSINT automation tool, but more importantly, it's a web-based tool. First thing we need to do is we need to actually configure Spiderfoot so that it can run, meaning we need to do an IP address and a port so we can get Spiderfoot actually functioning. So first thing, I'm going to do an IP config. I want to see my IP address, 192.168.50.135, and then I'll do spiderfoot, tac l, my IP address, 192.168.50.135, and the port number I want to associate it with. It should not let me run it. This tool requires us to do it as a super user, so sudo give it our password and you'll see that it actually then lets us connect. I just clink, uh, clicked on the address and that started it or you can navigate to a web browser and then go to the address doesn't really matter. So new scan got to give the scan a name I'm gonna go ahead I want to scan Google the seed target, it can be a domain name, it can be an address, it could be a, a subdomain, it could be a subnet, it could be a uh, email address, a phone number, a human name, or a, a username. The, the names get a little bit weird because again, this is a full OSINT based tool for our entry level reconnaissance. I wanna just look at a domain name, google.com. Right now, I just want to do footprint. I want to see what's exposed to the internet dealing with this domain. I'm going to run my scan and I'm going to pause because this takes a while. And you'll notice once the scan starts, it actually starts uh, crawling uh, with the data. And it will take some time. You'll notice here the status is running. When it's complete, the status will change. So these scans can run hours. This scan has been running uh, quite a while now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the run through. So as it was doing its crawl, it found details. And I can actually browse and I can see um, affiliate websites and addresses I can see specific details and how everything is interconnected. So here is Google and we can see all of the paths to all of the other external links. We can see uh, scan settings, we can see modules, we can see responses. I thought that was most notable was things like uh, affiliate IP addresses you can drill down and you can start seeing the addresses for affiliates. You can start seeing DNS records or cookies or company uh, content, Google Inc, Google Inc versus Google LLC. So again, this is just a nice recon tool, but this takes time and it will take a lot of time to actually sift through everything. So right now we're just under 10,000 uh, requests, 1,200 of them are unique, a little uh, over 400 are errors, but again, you can start diving deep into content. I want to look at here's a non-standard HTTP header, and we can start, again, diving deep into these other areas if we wanted to. Way more than what we need to, but it's just interesting to see what type of data is actually collected. We're going to be going through a different tool and we'll be using Google uh, again. So 
So here again, we have Google and we can see all the interconnections, how Google is tied with everyone else. So Google Play, uh, its affiliate addresses, some of its uh, affiliate links, like a uh, network abuse, so again, that's a subdomain of Google, PSD, uh, DMP.cc, and again, as we start scrolling through this list, all of these additional sites are additional content that Google either controls or connects or owns in some some way. You'll see here we have a lot of linkage to 142.250.186.78. You'll see a lot of linkage here. And as we start following them, you'll start seeing that almost all of them belong to some form of Google Data Center or Data Fusion or stuff in that regards. So again, this is information in a nutshell. This is a ton of information, and it would take time to actually sit down and go through all of this. Part of the phase one uh, is actually just sifting through a ton of data to get what is useful. So again, this is Spiderfoot in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to reach out. Thank you.